Okay, hey, this is Tricks for the Knicks, trick number two. Uh, today, well, in this video, <laughs> we'll be looking at synchronizing oscillator two to oscillator one. And go back and watch a video I did on the original Murmux three years ago or so. That explains how the whole synchronization stuff works. This video is going to show you how to actually do it on the Knicks. It's one of my shorter videos, and so let's just go ahead and get to it. I am enjoying an Echt or Echt Schlenkerla, Schlenkerla Rauchbier. It's an Urbock, also a Rauchbier, that means smoke beer, by the way. And it says it's from Brauerei Hella aus Bamberg. Good beer. I like alt beers, I like Urbocks, and I like Rauchbiers. Uh, smoke beers. This is extremely good. So anyway, um, enjoy this trick for the Knicks and synchronize those oscillators and make some awesome synthesizer -y music. Okay? Cheers. Some quick steps for syncing oscillator 2 to oscillator 1. This doesn't explain how it works. It only shows the steps to get the sound. Watch the whole video for more of an explanation. Route cable from M2 to OS2. Set VCF routing to even or odd. Switch sync to on. Set mod root to split or odd. To only hear synced oscillator 2, lower the level of oscillator 1. Use the depth or trim knob to adjust the amount of modulation 2 or M2. Use mod 2 to alter the speed of the synced effect by changing the rate of the rise and fall. Okay, hey, this is chapter 2, episode 2, whatever of tricks for the Knicks. And what we're focusing on today is a syncing the oscillators. Now, you might go back and watch a video I did a long time ago for the original Dreadbox Murmux, that's right, um, I think in 2015, where I explain in excruciating detail how synchronizing oscillators works. So what we're going to do fairly quickly here is describe how to do it we will describe how to do it on the Knicks. And it starts with, again, another patch cable. And again, this is my propeller head reason patch cable from the guys who make a bunch of virtual analog stuff and a, a pretty cool DAW that I like. So. so we plug this into the M2 output right here. And then we plug that into oscillator 2 right here on the inputs. And what that's going to do is use oscill modulator 2 to affect the pitch of oscillator 2. So, and if you listen to it all by itself, it will sound something like this. <laughs> Depending on how you have the modulator set up. It can have a slow raise a slow rise and a slow fall, or a quick rise and a slow fall. But anyway, that's important because when you synchronize these, so right now we're only listening to oscillator 2, we're not listening to oscillator 1. So let's turn on the sync switch. I have both oscillators set at 16 feet, and let's hear what this sounds like. Ah, interesting, huh? That is mostly controlled. Now the amount of this effect, how much the synchronization takes place, again is controlled by this little knob up here. And you can make it fairly extreme, as you can hear. Slow rise. filter wide open so you can hear the uh, the extra harmonics that are added when you do this oscillator sync. And again you can dial this down to almost no effect at all. It sounds a little more extreme when you have, uh, say, oscillator 2 at a higher octave. It sounds 
sounds almost too extreme, doesn't it? Now you can also, if you want to, right now the modulator is just executing one rise and fall step. So you can switch that to the LFO mode and then it will loop. And you'll get this. Important for this to work, and I, it's similar to the previous tricks for the NYX video I did, um, you have to make sure that Modulator 2 is set up to not modify uh, the filter or anything. I mean, you, you can have it set up to modify the filter too, and then, but I like to have it so it's just not modulating anything other than the pitch. And modulating the pitch, as we heard again, let's turn the sync off. So that should give you a pretty good idea how the synchronization of both oscillators works for the Dreadbox Nix. Cool as heck, huh? Now if you really want, you can even add in the filter, or not the filter, the oscillator that you can't hear yet. Right now, oscillator 1 is silent, but it's set to a sawtooth wave, and we can add that in if we want to. That's oscillator one all by itself. Then you can add in the synchronized oscillator two. And then you can modify both naturally with the filter. And that's it. I think I played with it enough. Um, gave you an idea how to do that as well. And I guess that was the second chapter, part two, um, second lesson, the second trick for the Knicks. Cheers.